important, uh, especially as you learn the different guards in Jiu-Jitsu. In my opinion, when you're passing, you don't want to pass a type of guard, if that makes sense. So the person should never be able to define the guard that they're in as like a type of guard. So if I walk in and I'm like, uh, and Aaron gets De La Hiva, for example. So he, De La Hiva, like he's got, this is called De La Hiva with the outside hook. But we're basically describing a control that Aaron has. I don't want him to have a control. Here you'd call this De La Hiva that he's got. But if we're like here, what guard would you call this? Yeah, like you, you pro, well, I mean, maybe you could say open, but that's like a, a loose term. You know, like it's not a specific control that he's got. I don't want him to have De La Hiva guard. I don't want him to have single X guard or shin to shin or anything like that. I want to have the controls, so it shouldn't be something the person on the bottom can define. So the goal in, with pass is not to be good at like, oh, I love when someone gets De La Hiva because I'm good at getting out. No, if they're really good at De La Hiva and you let them get it, you're going to have a nightmare trying to get out. You want to stop it happening altogether. So when we're uh, attacking here like this, first thing, um, we've got to look out for a, for a few things here. Uh, one of the first things I'll look for, make sure your head's at the same level as your partner. If I'm up here, it's way too easy for him to get my leg with very little consequences on, on his behalf chasing my leg. When I'm here, if he starts chasing my leg, I can start to make angles and start to try to get around the leg. Yeah. Um, but we're actually going to try and go through, through the guard more this time. So when we're here, I'm going to stay low. My first thing is block him from being able to attach to my leg with his arm, because I know that that's a bad thing. He gets his shoulder to my to my leg, that's he's stuck to me. I can't get a good underhook now, I'm in a, I'm in a bad spot. So we're here, I'll block here, like this, and I'll keep my feet far enough away that he can't easily get any sort of De La Hiva or anything. If I stand like this, he can shoot De La Hiva, and he's still got a good position. So I'll keep my leg back at first, and when I step in, it's not to here, not to shin to shin like that, don't let him get the hook. I'm gonna step in, but out wide, like this. Now it's really difficult for him to lock in that De La Hiva hook. Okay, if you step wide and you keep your knee pointing outwards like that. If I step to here, it's easy. If I step across like I'm going for a knee through, you'll get reverse De La Hiva really easily. Okay, so I'm almost always gonna, when I set my pass, I'm almost always step laterally. Like this, okay? And from here, uh, if you need to, you can kind of straighten. If you feel like getting close to getting that hook, straighten your knee a bit, and we're going to push down on the leg now, okay? Um, as soon as you're there, try and clear this knee to the outside, and we're going to drop our knee down like this. What would you describe Aaron's guard now? It's close. <laughs> like you could kind of say it's close to some things, but it's not really uh, a definable thing. So he doesn't have any real advantageous grips. He's potentially the only thing is this hook, uh, which we're going to make work against him anyway. Okay. So I'm going to try and go chest to chest, low on the hips. My knee's killing this leg, and then you're just going to like sprawl your hips and raise your knees like that. So I'm trying to get my hips lower than my knees, and we're going to start to flick off to the side. Okay. Again, we're here like this. I'm going to show it for a different angle. Get this thing over there. So here, I'm going to step in and laterally, and then I'm going to start trying to drop down, chest to chest, knee over the top of the thigh. Uh, make sure he can't get the De La Hiva. We go chest to chest. I can put my hands on the ground if I want. Just keep them close to the hips so he can't get scared. And then I just drop my hips, extend with my knees, and flick off. Okay. The one that's on the thigh is actually aiming to like open that leg up and give me more space to fall into. So we look here, we end up here, watch my right leg, I try to like open his knee out. Yeah, it's going to make it easier to pass if I've got a big space to pass into. Once more. The coffin is Obviously, this is one path. That first step, I'll take even if I'm going for a knee through, okay? So even if I want to pass this way, I'll almost always come here, get my grip, and then I come across. That means I don't have to go through reverse De La Hiva. If I try and go straight for the knee through, I get caught here, and now I've got problems to deal with, okay? Let's have a go at that. Three, two, one.